So we've been a few times now to our favorite spot uh, down near Margaret River and um, it's always quiet. So they, they only let a handful of um, vans stay at any one time. Um, we're right opposite the vines. Um, you've sort of got the surrounding bushland as well. And um, you'll see in the background there our van. So we've got a great little spot, but um, yeah, beautiful area. Um, this is our kind of secret spot um, when we come down to Margaret River. And um, now you know, um, but um, look, it is a great spot because it's only a short drive from Margaret River town as well. So you can nip down the road and go to the fire bread and grab your, your fresh bread and things. Um, and obviously everything else that the Southwest has to offer. So yeah. I'll show you a bit more of the property as well. So just outside Jarvis Estate, uh, about to catch up with uh, Matt, the owner, and he's going to show us around. Yes, yeah, so I'm just here with uh, Matt Jarvis from Jarvis Estate. Um, he's kindly put us up for the next few days. Um, it's our, I think it's our third time here and we've always enjoyed it. So. Um, Matt, can you maybe tell us a little bit about what you do here and, and the wine, etc.? Yeah, well, we are just a small family winery. We've been here for 25 years now. So wow. this is our 20th vintage, actually, this year. So everything's made on site, grown on site, and bottled on site, pretty much. So And sold here. Wow. So we, we don't really have any other markets other than sell it all. Right? So all the sediments down below there. So this is called the racking valve. So we're racking the wine off there. So the wine's been here for less than a week. Um, all the sediment should be settled down the bottom here, so the clean wine's coming off wow. there and through here into this tank number three over there. And that will mean that it will be much cleaner wine, fresh that there's no sediment or leaves that will bring disease and, and um, bacteria into the wine. The caravan and camping sort of thing started a few years ago and that's it's taken off from a good side. Yeah, so if you're looking for somewhere quiet to bring your van, um, obviously you need to be self-contained, but they only let about sort of five or so... Five or six campers at a time, so it's not too busy, yep. not parked on top of each other. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, great spot in winter. You can There's a few fire pits around, but obviously you can bring your own if, if you're one of the spots that doesn't. And um, yeah, it's very very uh, scenic and overlooking the, the vineyards and what have you. Vineyards, so. yeah, and uh, come up for wine tasting, of course. Of course, yeah. So yeah, add it to your list. If you haven't been down, check out Jarvis Estate. So Max, what do we think of uh, Jarvis Estate? Good. Yeah? Anything you like in particular? Um, I like how much it's cold here so we can just sit here with the fire. The fire, yeah. Yeah, fire season's pretty good, isn't it? My favorite about the fire is that we can make s'mores. S'mores, oh yeah. Yeah, we did, we did have... Yeah, we did like a double choc kind of... Cookie Cookie, thing. didn't we? Yeah, yeah with there. marshmallow inside. Over so there. Really good. What are the secret ingredients to a fire, guys? Build a house. Build a house, yeah, that's right. Because you need airflow, don't you? Yeah, you build a house, you stack wood around, you can see that it's kind of black. A Jenga! Yeah, you can see that it's Good like Jenga, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we picked up this fire pit, which we've been really impressed with, haven't we? So, yeah. and it's um, not sponsored at all, so we bought this ourselves from BCF, and it's been um, really good. So this here is our local tradition. Whenever we come down to Margaret River, we visit the uh, fire bakery down there and um, we get some uh, fruit bread for breakfast. So it's going down a treat this morning. Yeah, check out that view. Now the fog's actually subsided in the distance. We're pretty fortunate here. And um, although there's room for a few more sort of vans up here, we've actually got the whole place to ourselves. And with all of our content and locations that we're taking you guys to, uh, there are no endorsements or sponsorships. So um, this is just our experiences, you know, traveling around WA and, 
um, you know what we found great and and otherwise so we'll continue to do that and, and share those with you um, but yeah look, this sort of wraps up um, today's video with Jarvis Estate um, really love it here um, this is I think our third time um, staying on the property and it's it's been awesome the kids have loved it um, we also brought Gracie our dog along and uh, she enjoyed it as well and it was a great time to just um, uh, chill um, visit some of the local wineries and, and uh, enjoy the local food as well so um, yeah it's a great spot whether it's winter spring or summer we've always liked it here but there's something special about coming down in winter being able to have a campfire and a sort of warm up on a on a cold evening so um, yeah this is kind of a bit of a winter getaway for us um, yeah that's today's video hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed to our content please hit the uh, subscribe button below. Um, we plan to be doing um, plenty of trips across the year and we've got a few more uh, remote ones coming up. So um, stay tuned. Thanks guys, catch ya. Absolutely bucketing it down and the fire is still going.